both of my grandfathers served in World War II. One was a Marine and one was uh, in the Navy. In 1996, I graduated from uh, Belleville West High School and then I went into the Navy. My lieutenant knew what my uh, ambitions were and what I wanted to do. I graduated BUDS, class 226, December 17th of 1999. My name is Stephen Otten. They called me Otter and I was a Navy SEAL for 10 years. Was there ever any time during that where you just wanted to say to yourself, I can't do this? Oh no, not even, no. No, even have a shadow of a doubt like that, you're definitely gonna quit. I'd rather die than fail. I'd rather die than quit. I deployed three times. My first one, operations in the southern part of Afghanistan, and then we deployed the second time to uh, Africa, and then on my third platoon, uh, we were in uh, uh, Iraq, and uh, I was a sniper in Fallujah. The World Trade Center, tower number one, is on fire. We basically huddled around a TV, and we watched it live. After 9-11 happened, Alpha Platoon from SEAL Team 3, we were the first SEALs across the border into Afghanistan. You came back a different guy. Oh yeah, yeah. The experiences definitely do change you. The operations that you carry out, the missions that you're called upon to do, do, do affect you. My mother and father are both artists. I guess they knew that, you know, that maybe that it was in me. And so it, it's, it's so strange that in between operations, I'm studying Michelangelo and Leonardo and Raphael. I worked on that, on the sculpture that I'm doing for veterans, and I've borrowed some of the composition from Michelangelo's David and incorporated some contemporary elements into it uh, so that I could uh, connect it to something that is common and uh, within all branches of the military. Tell me what you struggle with now. Mine is mainly PTSD. My biggest problem that I've been admitted for is sleep. My mind races and I don't know why. And then I'm feeling helpless and for the first time in my life and I'm like, is this the end of the road for me? It takes away all the nightmares that, oh, yeah, that you I, may have. I am at peace, yeah, I am at peace. There is nothing, when I am sculpting, it's just, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm in another world. What do you say to all of the veterans. So this Veterans Day especially is a day to be proud for all the veterans that are still here, fortunately, but also for all those who sacrifice and are no longer here, or for those who sacrifice and don't have a limb anymore. All of them, all of them, good job. A job well done, S success.